Michelle and Brian, we are downtown Grand Rapids right now. We are on the Fulton Street Bridge. If you take a look behind me, you can sort of see the highway in the background, a little bit of that smoke still lingering around. But an expert tells me it's not just the particles that are an issue, it's how small they are. As the smoke from Canada lingers over West Michigan cities, we're seeing more and more of these forest fires. Steve Bertman, a professor of the environment and sustainability at Western Michigan University, says we are breathing in a range of gases and particles. Carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, um, there, you know, even some he heavy metals, if the fire is hot enough, things like mercury and lead can be uh, can become airborne. Fine particles known as PM 2.5, which are 2.5 micrometers or smaller, are also a concern. Maybe 10 times smaller than the width of a human hair. So small enough that you can actually breathe those particles into your lungs um, like you do with the gases. The sheer number of, of small particles that are in the air right now is, is something to be um, concerned about. The Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy is monitoring air quality across the state. It is us solely who issue these alerts. Alec Kanaki, a meteorologist with the department, is part of a team that determines if an air quality alert is needed and sends them to the National Weather Service. We have monitors all across the state that uh, monitor numerous pollutants, but more specifically for our sake, they uh, monitor ozone and PM 2.5. Um, there's a couple in Grand Rapids, there's a couple in Detroit. Eagle says the levels they are seeing are much higher than we saw just a few weeks ago. I think maybe for a couple hours it was in the unhealthy range, so like the red color you'd see on the maps, but the past few days we've seen um, consistent unhealthy, which brings in everyone, not just those with asthma and respiratory issues. Eagle says it's too soon to know if there will be an air quality alert over the 4th of July holiday weekend. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.